I think it's pretty safe to say the AFC West is pretty competitive right now. We have covered a lot of these teams at nauseum and a lot recently. You talk about the Raiders, who are 3-0 right now, leading the division, also tied with the Denver Broncos, who, in my mind, I get the whole argument of people saying they haven't beaten anybody, uh, but I will say you know, that is the NFL. You cannot take any of these victories lightly, but is, if we're comparing you know, wins to uh, a lot of this other stuff, if we compare the, you know, the Raiders' schedule uh, as opposed to the Broncos' schedule, who, again, have played you know, teams like the Jets and the Jaguars and the Giants, not exactly, in my mind, you know, all that more important when you consider the fact that the Raiders have beaten three teams that all were, uh, I think all, I think what I, the worst research I had done before had all, yeah, the correct research had all been, or at least were close to the playoffs last year. The Ravens, the Steelers and the Dolphins were a good team last year, even though they didn't make the playoffs. The point is this, this upcoming matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Chargers is huge. This is a huge matchup now for a couple of different reasons because number one yes you have the raiders who are leading the division uh and then it goes the broncos the chargers the chiefs i don't know what's going on with the chiefs right now but i don't assume or think it will be that long until they get things back together because it's the chiefs and it's patrick mahomes and they've got things going on at absolutely right now but i will say you know that right now with the raiders going to play the chargers this is a big game absolutely a big game monday night football prime time for a lot of implications, whether it's in the division, whether it's the playoffs, this is a big game. And we've covered both of these teams at nauseum, especially in the offseason. You know, we've given the credit the, the Raiders a lot of credit for what they're doing. Starting out 3-0, three, beating three solid teams. The Chargers, got, uh, guys like Justin Herbert, who's balled the, the, the reigning um, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, got a guy that, you know, right now has completed around roughly nearly 70% of his passes for uh, 956 yards, six touchdowns, and only three interceptions. Um, and then you also got you know, their, their running game is looking respectable. Austin Eckler, one of the most underrated, 35 carries, 166 yards, and a touchdown. Um, Eckler also has 15 catches for 113 yards and another touchdown, by the way. Um, you know, their receivers are good. Mike Williams showed up against the Chiefs. 22 catches, 295 yards, and four touchdowns so far in the year. Keenan Allen is constantly one of the most underrated wide receivers. It's just, it's a crime. 21 catches, 258, and a teddy so far this year. Jared Cook, I thought he'd make have a bigger impact but so far, but another video. I will say, though, on the flip side of that, you look at the Raiders who, I mean, Derek Carr, I mean, I this guy is definitely in the MVP conversation. You talk about a guy that's completing 64% of his passes for over 1,200 yards, averaging over 300, or nearly over 400, excuse me, over 400 yards a game passing, six touchdowns, two interceptions without Josh Jacobs for a couple of those games, mind, mind you. Let's keep that in mind right now. Um, and also, and imagine what, he, what happens when I get him back. That's just going to be huge. But you also talk about, you know, on the flip side of that, Peyton Barber, you know, had over 100 yards last game, has really shown up and shown out, in my opinion, and done a lot. Um, and then obviously you got the, one of the best tight ends of football, uh, Darren Waller, who has 20 catches for 224 yards and a touchdown. Hunter Renfro, who got, who got picked him up on fantasy. Uh, he's got 16 catches, 204 yards, and a touchdown. Why do I say all this? It's merely because of this. There's a couple of things we have to assume here. Number one, there is a good chance that – the Chiefs are at least going to move to 2-2. Two and two. They're going to play the Eagles, and especially after whatever the Cowboys did to the Eagles, da. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much of that game, but I will say that there's a pretty good chance the Chiefs are going to take care of business against the Eagles. So what does that mean for the teams, for teams like the Chargers who are currently 2-1? and one? If they lose to the Raiders, they're back in it with the Chiefs uh, for the division. This division is looking pretty tough, uh, but we'll see how things kind of shake out. If the Raiders were to lose, they are all of a sudden, you know, Three and one, Chargers three and one, and whatever you know happens for the Broncos, uh, who do go out and play the Ravens, which is going to be a tough game. I would venture to say it's, it's easily their first test of the year, but this is a big game, uh, and this is a big week for the AFC West, and I'm really excited to see how it all shakes out because I think there's going to be um, a lot of things sorted out with the division in terms of like standings and everything. But if the Raiders win, move to four zero, I think the Broncos actually might fall against the Ravens. I, I got a lot of love for the Broncos, but that's going to be a tough game. But somehow, if both of them come out of win, you're talking about a four zero starts for both of them. That's absolutely incredible. The Chargers, Justin Herbert, we've covered it, um, has looked great. But we always have to assume with Patrick Mahomes in the backfield for the Chiefs that they are going to come back at some point. I don't expect the Chiefs to be 
uh, down by any means. They are not down by any stretch of the imagination. They've got a long way uh, to go yet, and I think they're going to be a really solid moving forward, and there's a lot still left of the season to play, and there's 17 games too. So, But this game between the Chargers, or excuse me, the Los Angeles Chargers and the Las Vegas Raiders is huge. This is a huge game, and I think both teams are going to come, come up and show off Monday Night Football. Ugh, you love Especially with this channel, when we try to be real, we're telling you right now, this is this is why we have prime time for games like this, playoff and division implications, two good quarterbacks going against each other with defenses and teams that are figuring it out. Oh, this just... Uh, it doesn't get any better than this. God, I love football. But, um, but let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, subscribe down below, leave a like, and a comment. It helps people find the show. Greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Um, check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com. And also remember to, um, in the description down below, uh, give us a follow and a like on all our social media platforms. And then also at the end of the day, if you would uh, give us a listen and sub on iTunes, we'd greatly appreciate it. And if you have anything you'd like us to cover, make sure you send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we'd be glad to cover it. But at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think about this Los Angeles Chargers matchup and this Las Vegas, Las Vegas Raiders game.